Rob's World. Hey, what's up guys? I know in my last video I asked whether or not you wanted to see the crossbow dowel shooter, the super spoon, or the regular catapult, and it seems, due to votes, that you guys really wanted to see the crossbow dowel shooter, 298 votes to Zombies 910. Also, one of my viewers put a poll up, and it was apparent that 1,263 people wanted to see the crossbow dowel shooter. Yeah, so that was basically like 80% of everyone. Before I start, I need to give a really big thanks to South Shore Dental Arch, which is my brother and sister-in-law's office, and they fixed my front teeth, as you could see from these pictures. I had bonding done about 12 years ago, and it started to discolor and make my teeth look really bad. They decided to do six veneers on my front teeth from canine to canine. Not only are my teeth whiter, but I also have the confidence that I need to smile and show off my pearly whites. You can check them out at facebook.com slash southshoredds or at southshoredds.com. Thanks, guys. The crossbow looks something like this, and it uses ammunition, like these dowels, to basically go inside, you push back, and you grab the tip of the dowel, hold it, pull back. You are never going to point this at anyone. However, one thing you can also shoot in the crossbow is, are these skewers. So if I put a skewer in here and aim it at something like a pillow, To make the crossbow dowel shooter, we're going to need a pen with a round body, just like this. You don't want to use a pen that has those ridges, like this one. So you need one with a round body. You're also going to need a piece of printer paper, 8.5 by 11, should work just fine. You're also going to need a set of dowels. These dowels I got from Michaels. They are 3 16th of an inch, and they come with 15. You're also going to need some pencils some rubber bands, about seven rubber bands. I got these rubber bands at Target in a case of about 600, and you're also going to need some masking tape, which I happen to get at Staples. All right, so let's take four pencils out in total, and we're gonna take two of them, and basically we're gonna grab one of the rubber bands, and we're going to leave about an inch to an inch and a half from the end to where we put the rubber band. And you're just going to take the rubber band, wrap it around, twist it, put it around, twist it, put it around. I'm assuming most of you guys know how to do this. So basically just twist it and wrap it around like that until you get basically till the end, until it gets really tight. Right about there should be good. Okay, we're going to do this to the other end. Take another rubber band, about an inch and a half away from the end. We're going to do it with another set of pencils, so just like before, take a rubber band and just wrap it around, flip it around, and do the same here. Alright, and there you go. Now try to make sure that these pencils are edge to edge because these pencils do have ridges on them. So now you should have two sets of pencils that are wrapped with rubber bands. Alright, so you're going to take one of the pencil pairs and you're going to put it on top of the other pencil pair. It doesn't matter which orientation or way it's facing. And you're going to move it up to about a third of the length of the pencils. So right about there. Then you're going to take another rubber band and you're going to put it around this pair and this pair and then you're going to once again twist on the other side and wrap it once again around this end and this end so that you basically are wrapping in this direction now I'm going to take the rubber band and twist it and put it around this end and this end to effectively get a wrap going the other way as well. So about three wraps in each direction should be good. I just wanted to mention if it's easier for you to use two different sets of rubber bands uh, to wrap one just around this way, 
and then the other one just around that way. You could do that as, as well. Or you can even use tape uh, to get these two to stay like this. To make the barrel, what you're going to do is to obviously take the cap off of the, the pen that we have here. Okay, we're going to take the piece of paper and we're going to lay the pen down on the very end here. We're then going to grab the end of the paper and we're going to wrap it pretty tightly almost as tight as you can get it and then you're going to wrap it down making sure that it's rolling on the ends too so you want to keep going around and wrapping all the way up all the way up until you get to the very end and you should have something like this okay now you're gonna have to practice this because as you'll see it may not be as tight in certain areas it's really not that big of a deal you're then going to take some masking tape about the, the width of the paper okay and you're going to attach it to the end of the paper that's been rolled up okay So I'm attaching it to the end of the paper that hasn't quite been folded down yet. Alright, just like that. And as you'll see, I have some excess here, and I'm going to rip it right there. Now, I'm going to take the rest of the paper, and I'm just going to keep on folding it. So that that piece of tape, which just stuck to my finger here, basically lays down on the rest of the paper and seals it nice and closed. Now we have to get the pen out. So to do that, all you need to do is to just take another pen or pencil, stick it in the end, and you'll see the pen will come out. And that is how you make the barrel of the crossbow. We're almost done. We just need to attach the barrel and then attach the two rubber bands and make an ammunition pouch. Take the rest of the crossbow and hold it like this so that the two pencils which we placed across the other two are on top like that. We're going to hold the barrel and line it up with the end or the bottom of these two pencils like that. We're going to make sure it aligns with the rest of the bottom pencils. Then take a piece of masking tape about six inches long and you're going to take it, attach it right there, and then just basically wrap it around the barrel and the pencils. It doesn't matter if it's not neat, it just needs to basically give it support. Then we're going to do this two more times. Take another piece about six inches long attach it right here and then just wrap it around just like that alright and for the last one just attach it here and you don't want to pull down on this okay so just basically let this fall down here and don't tight don't basically tighten it so just basically hold it here and then just wrap it around just like that. Alright, so now that we have the barrel secure, we're going to attach the two rubber bands. To do that, we're going to take it, and you're going to have to really pull apart on these a little bit because they're very tight due to the rubber band. So if you can kind of squeeze that in there, pull this apart, and see if you can squeeze that down there you might have to loosen the rubber bands, but if you want to get it down to right about there at the base of the metal piece that holds the eraser. The other side, let's try. Squeeze it apart. Oh, and I got it in. And you want to squeeze it all the way down as far as you can really just like that. If you're not able to open this, like I said, you have to either loosen on this or you can take the edge of a um, a clothespin and wedge it in here like that and open them. Or you can also use a flathead screwdriver. 
Okay, so at this point, now that I have these two rubber bands, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tape and I'm going to first take the tape and wrap it under the right rubber band and kind of fold it like that at the very edge. You want this to be at the very edge of the rubber band when you pull on it. You're going to do the same with the other rubber band, but you don't want the edges of the rubber band exactly next to one another. You want to leave you want to leave about an inch and a half like that. So you see how I kind of trapped it there and now I'm going to fold it. There you go. So now you see there's one rubber band, there's the other one. And then I'm going to take this, go inside again and wrap it around. So now I have created the ammunition pouch. And now I'm just going to strengthen it up a little bit. So just take a little bit of extra, extra tape and I'm going to wrap it around this way now. Put it on front, wrap it around behind, come around front again, and that is your ammunition pouch, okay? And that, right there, is the crossbow. So now I'll show you how you can shoot it. The best way to do this is to have the ammunition pouch already at the base here. Then what you can do is you take the dowel and you hold it like this and when it gets to the end you'll see it'll start pushing on the ammunition pouch. What you do then is you can pinch the ammunition pouch hold it like this below the barrel you can even put your tip of your finger here okay so you want to hold it like this you pull back and you can kind of aim it like that. Let's try that again. Push it in. Push the ammunition pouch down. Pull back. And there you go. So again, just set up the ammunition pouch there and it'll be a little bit easier for you to shoot. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my video on how to make the crossbow dowel shooter. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up or a like down below. And also, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. I think it's down below now uh, and it might be in red if you're not subscribed. So click that if you want to see more. Also, let me know what you want to see next. Leave a comment in the comments section below. I have some magic tricks that I can show, maybe some easy levitations, you know, say you take a card like this and you want to levitate it, all you need to do is to really give it a good spin. You really gotta make sure that you have enough control over it, just like that. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.